Zeno donated, Zeno donated two dollars. Swiss after Swiss this after donation. This donation. We haven't moved, we haven't an, moved inch. an inch. Zeno, you idiot. We haven't even started the live stream. Stop. Don't donate before we start. Okay? That's the rule. All right. There you go.
everybody welcome back to the channel another swiss is there one live stream how are we all doing tonight how are we all doing Do you know i could i know i could i know i could i could talk about the fly by wire a 380 but i refuse it i know maybe some of you guys have heard the news that this a380 has been leaked and you can kind of download it now it was set to come out on thursday but it's kind of been leaked but i will refuse i will refuse to you know talk about it or fly it because i know if i did i would probably be shot at by the flight simulator community they would probably send some rockets to the house and try to shoot me to know um and that's why i'm not doing it it's disrespectful to download a leaked a stolen airplane you shouldn't be flying the a380 shut up player president it's not my birthday everybody take a look today we're going to talk about another airbus before we move on to the airbus a380 on thursday um anyway this right here is the airbus a38 a330 by yes aeros aerosoft aircraft loading that's a that's already a little bit concerning why are the systems already up everybody we all may know about the very chaotic jesus christ my very chaotic uh, <laughs> um desktop here take a look at the airbus a330 ceo that was released like two d two weeks ago and you may remember if you watched my live streams or my videos that the airplane sucked completely it had so many issues it was so full of problems stop saying it's my birthday you know the airplane was so full of problems and they now came up with the first update the version 101 and let me tell you the the change log is kind of embarrassing in itself take a look at this here um we've got issues fixed like fixed plane accelerates at touchdown fixed aircraft speed changes when simulator time is changed fixed gear lever mouse malfunction Fixed rudder trim reversed. Fixed reversers do the opposite. Fixed. What? What else are they gonna fix? Pineapple appearing. I've no idea. Yes, we all remember the very chaotic A330 released by Aerosoft, which was obviously because not really because the developers are you know incapable of making a great ad on airplane, but rather because this airplane was rushed. I guess because well the A330 uh, is soon coming out in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, which would render this thing obsolete. And well, the th funny thing is this plane has rendered itself obsolete because it's kind of useless um it's still apparently having some issues in today's live stream we're gonna figure out how and why and what kind of issues we have stop saying it's my birthday please i think my, my microphone is significantly lower volume for some reason is it loud enough compared to the music i sure hope it is everybody we are here at the beautiful lago mera airport and i'm running this airplane on a very clean installation they can't be any add-ons that interfere with this airplane to you know i know we will have some bugs we will have some issues today still um i planned this flight here this is a lago mera island not the longest of runways um we're gonna fly over to uh, probably what is a tenerife so we've got las palmas i think I i'm not really sure oh, i don't want to select a vor take a look this is our destination airport los rodeos on tenerife island um it's got a long runway we can do a beautiful ils approach we can do all that stuff okay the problem is will the airplane let us um apparently this plane leads to so many crash to desktop we might just experience that today as well the whole flight simulator might crash the fuck is this shit in the background what do you mean what 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 shit i know there's a tr what is that is that a gpu cart i think it is a gpu cart we do have ground power connected don't we i've heard from several users that this this gpu isn't supposed to work as in it just doesn't work for example we can select a gpu here where can we do that um no it's not even available here okay <laughs> We can't even select GPU. Where's GPU? We can close and open the doors. Our GPU is right there. All right, so it does show up. 
GPU is right here and it does show up in the sim. So there it is going and then it's coming back. That's not bad. Get rid of the music. I don't, I think I changed my levels here. Uh, hold on. I need to do a bit of a test. Is that, is that better? Uh, this is probably better. Probably I'm going to turn my microphone up a little bit like that. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. All right. Now we're back. Now we're back. I hope the music is not bad. Shut up. Shut up. This is the music I always use. It's just less loud. Okay. I don't know. I may have changed that. Everybody, the A330 CEO. Let's maybe see if we're going to encounter any issues on our flight. And of course, we're going to do this professionally. It is now time that we start this. So we're going to fly from GCGM. Okay. GCGM. Perfect. And then we're going to arrive at GCXL. Okay. And our aircraft type is, of course, the A330. A330 300. Is it or is it the 200? God damn it. Everybody welcome back to professional flying with Swiss Air One. Is that the 200 or 300? I'm an absolute idiot at this point. Is it the. I think it is the. No, it must be the 300. Okay. That is all well. Let's maybe see. Um, so that is good. We can select our arrival, which is the box C1M. Arrival that is good. Now should we be using ATC on this flight? I'm asking you guys should we be using ATC? Um, okay, right. so let's select that generate our flight flighting very happy very good. Let's maybe pull up the um, All right. Yes. No All right spam one in the chat for ATC and spam two in the chat for no ATC I guess that's the only way we can do this stop playing it play the thick of it I will I refuse that so don't do that so one what did I say was one again uh, I'm very professional live streamer so one for ATC Jesus I can't even tell there's a lot of people saying one and a lot of people saying two this is an absolutely pointless thing stop saying three three is not an option all right one all right so we will use ATC then um, I guess that will you know kind of make this flight more realistic. What's that? What's the soft call I use all the time? Say intentions. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, my friends, it's time. There you go. There you go. That's all set up and nice. And let's go ahead and have a close look at our A330, which for some reason is partly turned on. Why is it partly but not fully? Huh? And why are the ADIRs aligned? <laughs> that is so dumb. Let's turn on the APU now. Why are the why is the airplane already aligned? I just spawned in fresh. Okay. I just spawned in fresh. Fresh spawning. And for some reason the airplane is already kind of ready to fly. Which probably doesn't make too much sense. Um great. I you know when I spawn off I'm getting my notes here this is my thing to do notes on <laughs> normally when you when you fly in an airplane like this you would expect everything to be off okay it's what it's it's, it's you expect everything to be off but uh, right now everything is like partly on um, let's maybe see APU we're waiting for that to come available and you can see oh yes um, you may remember once again the tragedies that we faced when we flew this airplane Oh, I have no sound because I selected the wrong sound output. Oh, that's embarrassing now. Sorry, guys. Hold on. There you go. Now we have sound. <laughs> Oops. So take a look at this. You may remember the tragedies that we faced last time where the airplane just... Someone is calling me. Where the airplane just would refuse to work at all. Do you know? Stop calling me when I'm live streaming, you idiot. Let's go ahead and unload this flight plan and import a new one. Um... So our GCGM to GCXO right here. So look at that. Our systems are working. Look at that. Yes. This is good. This is good. This is a start. The instruments are loaded up. Let's maybe see. I've already connected my sim brief. Oh, I've already connected my sim brief account. Let's go ahead and uh, fetch OFP 
from Simbri, fetching that, and it works. From Lagomera to Ciudad de Lagu Lagu Gaga. Okay, that's already start. All right, that's 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 good. That's good. Come on, Aerosoft. That is great. Let's go ahead and maybe listen to some ATS to see if ATC works as well. To know uh, info, and then we want comms. There is only an information frequency. God, this is a very small airport then. <laughs> That's only information. Let's maybe see if we can talk to them. So, 118.375. Okay, so that already works. As you can see, our, look at that. We can select frequency here. This is, we're, I'm proud of you. Come on. 375. I was just on it. All right, let's maybe see if we can talk to ATC. La Gomera information. This is Airbus 001. Can I have a, a radio check, please? Maybe see. Does this work? Hello, the uh, hello man from New York. Airbus 001. La Gomera Airport info readability 5. Yes. Yes. Take a look at my genius being able to fly this airplane. Okay. Good. Good, let's go ahead and set up our route right here. This is the heart of the airplane, the FMC or MCDU here. Let's maybe see. Um, now, I'm no A330 pilot whatsoever, but there's some, you know, A330 pilots who complained about this airplane being very limited in what it can do, to, uh, to very nicely say it. Um, well, let's see. I mean, I flew the A330 X-plane not long ago. What is it doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Progress? Good. Okay. That is already a problem. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Let's go ahead now and see and select our airports here. I'm really just excited to see. I have a few questions. Will we butter in this airplane? Will it accelerate? Will it crash to desktop? Will I start screaming and crying and saying, I don't want to do this any longer. I don't want to live. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Because <laughs> that's... I, you have to watch the video from a YouTuber called... Um, uh, called A330 Driver. <laughs> it's amazing. So, flight number 001. It's just going to post one anyway. All right. So, normally, it it's supposed to change to, I think, one. It's supposed to leave the zeros out. As far as I remember... Uh, passenger one. Okay, cost index 100 million. That's good. Let's maybe take a look at our briefing right here. Can we do that, please? Yes. Take a look at that. We want to see what our cruise altitude is. Um, not sure where we're supposed to find that. Aha, uh -huh. flight level seven zero. All right, so it's only a 7,000 feet flight. That is good. Take a look at me professionally navigating here um, through the FMC, MCDU entry out of range. You fucking idiot. Are you not allowed to? What, what do we do if our cruise flight is 7,000 feet? It's literally 7,000. Or is it in flight level? Can not be? So we cannot enter in anything that is below 10? So it doesn't do by flight level. Let me see flight level here. What's up, the man from New York? Thank you so much. Welcome back. Our flight level 07. That's weird. I think I remember in the Tola's A330, you weren't adding in flight level, but actual altitude. I'm really don't take my word for it. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, work with this airplane now. So zero fuel weight. Um, see that here. Look, that works. The airplane hasn't crashed yet. We have a start. We're looking off. We're looking at a very good start here. Um, actually, I don't care. Let's just enter in something. Not allowed. Or can we just like, ignore that completely? Let's just enter in the flight plan. All right, perfect. Take a look at this. JGC GM. And then we want to go to Box Co. Okay, Box box co now this is i'm not even sure if we're able to depart ifr out of here because this is not an ifr airport but it doesn't really matter let's maybe plan our arrival here um which will be well i have no idea <laughs> 
it'll be an interesting flight, that is for sure. Okay. So, La Gomera information. A day this is Airbus 001. Okay, Airbus 001, we are uh, A330 on the ramp, uh, request IFR clearance to Golf C Charlie X-Ray Oscar. I don't even know the airport name anymore, so I'm just doing ICAO code. Airbus 001, QNH 1013, runway in use 27. Taxi at your discretion to the holding point, runway 27. Kunich 1013 and runway 27 in use. Uh, is there any uh, any way we can get an IFR clearance to Golf Charlie X Ray Oscar? Or do we have to call center to get IFR clearance to our destination, Airbus 001? Okay, 1013. That's already set. That's very easy. Why is. I think this airplane is in. A vertical speed mode. I think the vertical speed mode is on. Don't take my word for it, but why would it be on? <laughs> it's already invert. Why is the autopilot fucking running? I can't believe it, Aerosoft. Airbus 001, information correct. Clear to Tenerife North. After departure, fly radar vectors to Boxco, then as filed. Initial climb altitude 10,000 feet. Departure on 127 decimal 7 squawk 2642. Released for departure. Clearance void if not off by 1247 Zulu. Time now 1232. What the hell was that? That that came very quickly out of nothing there. Okay, um, clear to North Tenerife uh, and um, runway use 27 and after departure fly direct box code then as filed and initial climb 10,000 can you please say the departure frequency and the um what was that again uh and the off block time please airbus 001 this is a great atc communication um i'm a great i'm a great pilot here <laughs> All right, so we want 10,000 feet. Let's set that up already here. Um, now, this plane is so crap that my autopilot panel won't even work with it, which is a shame, but all right, 10,000 feet. Come on. Stop posting thick of it in the chat. I can't believe it. We're here to, to mock this airplane. All right, I think we've very much annoyed the uh, uh, information frequency here. Come on. Help me. Okay. Time to maybe work on, on, on getting the rest of the airplane started. So, situation report. We're here in this very troubled A330-300 by Aerosoft, which has so many issues. But so far, the... Look... The systems are somewhat running, very, very eagerly running. For some reason, when we spawned into the airplane, the the instruments were already on, and also the plane was already aligned. What's up, Flo? Flo Stop saying thick of it. I'm th thick of it. Do you know? And I think ATC started just ghosting us. All right, I don't care. One two seven dot, uh, decimal seven. All right, that is weird. Squawk two, six, what, four, four, two? All right, that's how we do it. It's two, six, four, two. All right. So, so was Airbus 001 clear to Tenerife North? Um, and after departure, fly radar vectors to box code, then as filed, initial climb altitude, flight level 10 feet, uh, no, 100 feet, departure on 127.7, seven, squawk 2642, release for departure, clearance void, if not off by 12472, time now is 1232, Airbus 001, 
Maybe that sub 124 donated up? 2 euros. No! Thick of it 77 into silian 777 to silian 777 no nilian 777 octillion 777 septillion 777 sextillion 777 quintillion 777 quadrillion 777 trillion 777 billion 777 million 777 all right so let's do some checks here i want to first see for some reason my throttle is not connecting or it's not working why isn't it working okay that works park brake works but for some reason guys i'm having issues with my throttle and my flaps the spoilers are working but the flaps aren't my joystick is going crazy because we want to put the spoilers up okay that is clearly not working maybe it is locked so my throttle isn't moving um so let's maybe just see if we can start up the engines right here so um this is a non-controlled airport so we don't have to really ask for anything uh, now that we've got ifr clearance all is well where is my wait where is my smart notes there it is let's maybe enter in already the frequency one two seven decimal um seven right here i really do want to know guys i really do not condone you downloading the new fly by wire a 380 although it's not out yet but has anyone done that does it even work at all i will not download it i will not download it before it's thursday do you know what i mean i will i refuse that so auto replay is on that's great yes we're on, running on a fresh installation so yeah we can hear apu bleed is on so we should be able to start up those engines so engine 2 master switch turn that on yeah that's working and two compressors coming on the airplane works it has the wrong model, so it's BS, so it doesn't really work. All right, that makes me kind of glad. Look at that, engines are running. That is a good start. My joystick is going a little weird. Configure it in the EFB, so I have to configure the... All right, that makes sense. I'm sorry. I, once again, this is just a first look, really. I, would, I was not able to actually have a first look at this airplane, by the way you know so hardware custom thrust levers calibration maybe do that but it's unable to recognize my throttle maybe let's try to recycle the connection something that is actually kind of all right is the sound design which i guess you're able to hear mm. nope it won't recognize my throttle. <sighs> Why won't it recognize my throttle? It very obviously isn't working. My throttle won't work. Um, we have a problem. Alright, let's turn on engine number one. Okay, engines are running, though. Barely. Engines are running. Let's keep that monitored. Thank you, Max. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So, situation report. Once again, throttle. Doesn't work. Not really work. Should work. Parking brake works. Now nothing works anymore. Okay. That's interesting. It's an Airbus throttle. It's an Airbus throttle and it's not being recognized. Why is that? Oh, guys. I can't believe it. So this is that. This is what it's supposed to work. TCA. Alright, that works. Let me see now um, the instruments. No, I want flight control set up. Uh, power management I'm on and then the C throttle that works that axis works. There's no reason for it not to think that I haven't got 
Okay. Um. All right, so the chat is absolutely broken at this point. Uh, it won't help me. Um, let's maybe see. I'm not even able to interact with the throttle. Um, using I can use my mouse. And it does spool up the engine quite a lot. That works. But I will refuse to use my mouse. Not even my keyboard input will work. Normally, it's F2 and F1, which are the, the power management. Why did the engine now go full power? The engine just went full power for no reason whatsoever. Did you guys just see what, what got... Alright. Okay. Um, that is weird. So, no throttle. And now suddenly we have full power again, and then no re... Ah! Wait, so it does... F so, wait. There is no animation on the throttle. Oh, but now the engine is dead. There is no, there is no animation on the throttle. And also, for some reason, our right engine has died. Uh, so, okay, so on the outside you can see, my throttle here does make a difference. But on the inside, it doesn't do anything. That's good to know. Um, for some reason, we only really do have the N N1 compressor of the left engine running. The right engine is dying very much. Um. <sighs> okay, it, that just won't work. It doesn't... Let's maybe set current at idle and it won't recognize it. So that is absolutely useless. Look, it won't, it won't, it just won't recognize that. So let's maybe try to release this beast and maybe see if we can at all fly. So that is the reverse thrust. Our left engine isn't on. Let's maybe try to use control E to turn on all the engines. I've just pressed the wrong thing. I've just done the wrong thing. This is a sh Okay, let's see. Come on, engine right. Please turn on. Okay, please do that. Yeah, so we've got EGT coming up. Now our left engine has died. Oh my god. Please just work, you stupid idiot of an airplane. Oh. Come on. Whoa, we're moving. Okay, I guess that's how we start. Um, information, uh... Airbus 001 is ready for taxi to runway 27. Okay, park brake is released. Come on, let's steer. Airbus 001, taxi to runway 27 at your discretion. Taxi runway 27, Airbus 001. All right, it doesn't really steer well. Come on. Maybe use some differential thrust. Okay. Oh, whoa, suddenly it goes full power. But very suddenly. Steer, you idiot, over the airplane. What in the fuck? All right, so you can see my throttle here is set to 100% and it just keeps like cycling back to zero. So there is some Aerosoft logic that is fighting against the Microsoft Flight Simulator logic of when it comes to accepting. 
Uh, and Lago Mera information, Airbus 001, can we please know the arrival that we can expect uh, at Tenerife Airport, please? What in the absolute crazy? Look! Look, we go for power! Airbus 001, expect Box 1 Mike arrival into Tenerife North, runway 27. Okay, thank you very much. Box 1 Mike arrival into Tenerife. Uh, which runway again, Airbus 001? Ah, what's up, Subby? Welcome back, Subby! Sub 124 donated $2. I am in the thick of it, everybody knows. They know me where it snows, I skied in and they froze. I don't know no nothing about no ice, I'm just cold. 40 something milli subs or so, I've been told. Okay. 777 septen decillion 777 sex decillion 777 quin decillion 777 quatu or decillion 777 re decillion 777 geo decillion 777 un decillion 777 decillion 777 no nillion 777 octillion 777 septillion 777 sextillion 777 Seventy-seven quintillion, seven hundred and seventy-seven quadrillion, seven hundred and seventy-seven trillion, seven hundred and seventy-seven billion, seven hundred and seventy-seven million, seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand, seven hundred and seventy-seven. All right, guys, please, please. Okay, so situation report: our throttle is absolutely broken. I know these are the Airbus throttle by uh, Thrustmaster. But the plane will refuse to think it is in existence f or something. I really have no idea what's going on at this point. Um, so that is a bit of a problem. Um, we can see we're trying to give in full power and it just won't do that. Look. Come on, just keep it going, you idiot! There's no reason for you to go reverse thrust! Maybe, uh, what? Let's maybe see. No, that's even made it worse. Why is the reverse thrust out? And why is one engine dead again? All completely hopeless. It is all completely hopeless. Come on. All right. So let's let me see. This thing just won't recognize the fact that it's got throttle connected to it. It just won't do that. Is there something that we have to change here in the settings? General. No. Why is the reverse thrust on? Okay. Now let's maybe try to just get out of here. Sometimes it will work. Sometimes it just won't. Okay. Lago Mera information. Airbus 001 holding short runway 27 ready for departure. Oh, something is immensely wrong with how this airplane flies. Like my Moza flight stick is going crazy. I have no idea why it's doing that. You need to set, set the axis one and two, but not zero to 100. What do you mean by that? Let's maybe see in the settings if we can find any fixes for our problem. Everybody, situation report on the A330 update. It haven't done a thing! It still doesn't work. Power management, throttle, and z it, it can't be 0 to 100. What should it be then? Should we recap? 
What kind of aircraft is that? I've never had an issue like this, and I really did not want to change my throttle axis. Is that the right one? That is the one we're supposed to use? Oh, that's a but. Oh, that's a button. <laughs> I have no idea which button, though. Look, why is it choosing a joystick button? That's so weird. Uh huh. There we go. Let's maybe see if that works. Um, I just want just one throttle axis. Maybe that's what what is wrong. So dumb, everybody. Why do we have to change our settings to 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 work with this aircraft? So here's power management. Um, let's see now. Clear current input, like that. Clear that, like that. Okay. Not zero to one hundred. Okay. So reverse axis. Once again, never had this issue. But I'm really just happy to be flying. Ah, now it works. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh, now I have to reverse this whole thing again. That is so dumb. That's the dumbest thing ever. Why does that just not work out of the box? Why do I have to use a special throttle axis? That's so weird. Okay, everybody. There you go. Now we're working, now we're taking, taking this for a ride. The engine, the right engine is dead still. Why did the right engine just die? Right engine dead. Okay, come on, take off. It's turning back on. But at least the animations work now. Plane still taxis like it's from hell. Why is it? Why is it going straight? Although its wheel is definitely not pointed. Look at the nose landing gear. It's able to to drift. Amazing. Amazing performance there. All right, all is fine. Let's take off now. This is not realistic of a flight at all, by the way. I know. So, let's take our runway to seven. All right, runway to seven right here. Okay, turn around. Turn around! Turn around! 180 to fucking degrees, why are you not doing what I'm telling you to do? I know I can't use reverse, uh, 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 differential thrust. Why isn't it working? You massive idiot, come on, right turn. Why is it very slowly just turning to the right? Come on, right turn. Yeah, yeah. Right turn. Right turn. Right turn. Right turn, you massive idiot of an airplane. I can't believe it. We're crashing into the windsock. Is that the standard of yours? Uh, uh. Uh. All right, flaps. What is wrong with the flaps? I set them down to one. Well, I set them down here. It just doesn't work there. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Let's maybe do some performance testing. I'm not willing to wait anymore at this point. All right. Are you guys ready to do some beautiful flying? I know our APU is still on, but we don't mind. Sometimes that just happens. Do you know what I mean? So there we go. Very, very fast performance that we have to say. 
Yes, that was not a great gear attraction or a oh, gear tilt. Beautiful, positive rate, landing gear up. Okay, let's turn on autopilot. Right there, this is an Airbus. Is it following our flight plan? I sure hope it is. Initial climb 10,000, let's do that. For some reason, my joystick is going crazy, which has never happened before. Okay, is it Airbus doing- Airbus 001 identified. Over La Gomera Airport at 2,000 feet. What? Heading 2902, QNH 1013. Clear direct box, go. QNH 1013, clear direct box, go. Uh, Airbus 001, can I have uh, some information on our arrival uh, runway, please? Okay. Okay, it's an Airbus A330, and it's doing its job, kind of. Take a look. We've got some good climb here, and that works. So autopilot works, and it's following the flight plan, and it's killing itself. More climb, please. It's going very fast. Uh, auto throttle is turned on, but it's going very fast. It knows that. All right, let's reset, redo the throttle ourselves. All right, so it is following the route. It is doing that. Lagomera info, all right, I don't care. Uh, Tenerife departure, good day, this is Airbus 001, uh, IFR from Lagomera to Tenerife North at five, level 060 uh, to 100 uh, with you. All right, so I hope it's able to to notice us, to know who we are. Um, so okay, it is. Airbus zero zero one, Tenerife South approach identified. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can we please have some information on our arrival runway and our uh, star arrival into Tenerife North, please, Airbus zero zero one? All right, it's an Airbus. It's flying itself. It should be able to land itself as well. Although I really wouldn't want to try that. I really am scared to. All right, for some reason, my joystick is doing, making noise. Airbus 001, expect runway 30 for arrival. Your star is box one mic. Okay. Uh, box one mic and ILS uh, 30, runway 30 into, uh, Lago, uh, into North Tenerife for Airbus 001. All right, so that's great. Let's, let's start our arrival here. So we want a star. Why is it only cost one mic? Is it cost one mic or box one mic? Airbus 001, correct. Box one mic and I left here. Runway 30 into Tenerife. Because it's not available here. Huh? Cost one mic? Okay. Um, that's very strange. Let's maybe try another uh, approach in. Let me try the R. Not really R. It can't be R nav. Okay, so we're having issues here. This airplane won't recognize our arrival that we're given. Let me try R nav. Airbus 001, contact Canaris control on one two three decimal six five. One two three decimal six five. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Airbus 001. That's weird. Okay. Tenerife Control, this, uh, good day, this is Airbus 001, IFR from La Gomera to North Tenerife, uh, five miles south of Boxco for landing at Tenerife North. Ah, I should be able to identify us. Um, that's weird. So, it just has Airbus one star. Airbus 001, Tenerife Control identified. Good afternoon. How many cigarettes do you smoke, sir? You, <laughs> you do sound like a lot. Sounds like a lot of hard work. I have a question about our approach into runway tree zero. Can we do the cost one mic approach the cost one mic star arrival into runway tree zero? My airplane does not have the box co one mic arrival into runway tree zero, Airbus 001. So this is weird. This airplane just won't recognize the approach that we're given. It just has cost one mic, which looks like this. Airbus 001, affirmative. You can proceed with the Costa 1M star arrival into runway 30 at Tenerife North. Continue as planned. 
Okay, everybody, there's one more now overhead. Uh, Boxco, and we will use the um, the given arrival into runway tree zero. Thank you very much. Great. All right, so let's add this here. Uh, a co uh, all right, direct to Cos, I think. What's that supposed to be? Direct to Cos. Why is there? A, why was there a flight plan this community? Airbus zero zero one, cleared for the box one mic arrival. For no. the ILS runway three zero into Tenerife North no. via TFN. No, no, no. Whenever no. you'd like, descend and maintain flight level zero seven zero. Uh, Canaries control negative. Um, we were just uh, told by you to go via the COS 1 Mike Star arrival into runway 30. Airbus Razor 1. What the fuck is this airplane doing? What is that? Airbus 001. Cleared for the Box 1 Mike arrival. No. For the ILS runway 30 into Tenerife North via TFN. Whenever you'd like to send flight level 070, QNH1013. <sighs> Alright, now I'm having issues with the ATC. Everything's causing issues today. Let's maybe see our arrival once again is the cost. Negative, sir. We would like to use the Charlie O. Oscar Sierra Sierra 1 Mike Star arrival into runway 30. Our airplane does not support the Costa, uh, the box Char 1, the box Charlie 1 Mike arrival into runway 30, Airbus 001. Uh, great. What is this plane doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is it doing? What is it doing? Why is it turning left? Wasn't, what, how's it going? Thank you so, so much. What is Airbus this? Zero, zero, 001, cleared for the Costa 1M star arrival into runway 30 at Tenerife North. Continue as planned. All right. Perfect. Costa 1 Mike star arrival. Thank you very, very much. That is perfect. Thank you, Airbus 001. Okay, so situation report for some reason. Um, I don't know who, who whose job has failed here. The ILS uh, three zero arrival via the box one mic that we were told to go doesn't exist in this airplane. It just won't be recognized. It just won't happen. And Airbus zero zero one, contact Tenerife North approach on one two four decimal eight. One two four decimal eight. Airbus zero zero one. Thank you very much. Um, all right. Why are we crashing into a mountain? By the way. We need to ascend very much. Uh, Tenerife North Approach, good day. This is Airbus 001. What's up, Jonathan? It's good buddy, thank you. Um, we are, uh, what, 35 miles out for landing at... No, 30 miles out for landing at Tenerife North via the Costa 1 Mike arrival. Um... Okay, wait, there's an update? Yeah, there is an update for the Aerosoft A330, and it's not Airbus necessarily Airbus 001, great. Tenerife North Approach, identified. Good afternoon. Uh, Tenerife North Approach, can we please ascend? We are now at 7,000 feet, but we will crash into a mountain if we don't d um, climb. Airbus 001? I don't know what I'm saying here. Airbus 001, climb altitude 10,000 feet approved. 10,000 feet, Airbus 001, thank you. That's 11,000 feet. So, situation reports so far. Airplane hasn't crashed. That's actually quite unfortunate. Why? Come on. Whoa. I hate this plane with, a, with an immense passion. And we're dying. Airbus 001, descend and maintain flight level 060. Uh, unable for Airbus 001, we're going to crash into a mountain if we proceed to descend. Uh, there's a mountain here. Airbus 001. Turn your auto throttle on. Bro, aviate is the first rule. Is that on now? I don't Airbus even... Airbus 001, climb altitude 10,000 feet immediately. 
510,000 feet. Airbus is room one. So Airbus, uh, auto throttle is on, right? How do I even... Has FCUs uses mouse? Yeah, because the FCU doesn't support this piece of crap. Maybe change the altimeter. Why would they do that? Why does the airspeed keep rising? I'm not sure. That's Airbus zero zero one, descend and maintain flight level zero six zero. Um, Airbus zero zero one, unable right now. We are above a mountain and uh, we are not very far above it. We don't want to crash into it, but I will uh, descend to flight level zero six zero as soon as it's possible. Airbus zero zero one. Um. <laughs> It's insane. Airbus 001, descend flight level 060. Descend flight level 060, Airbus 001. All right, we can soon level off. Okay, there we go. I'm just concerned. I don't know if this approach is gonna be flown well. Let's maybe check our RADNAV. It should already have destination. Yeah, it, oh, okay, so it already has the ILS here, so that is good. Okay, so hold on, the auto model does work, right? Okay, now it does. That's good, that's a good start. That's fine. Jeremy Clarkson. Perfect, we can now start our descent. I have no idea. Is this the standardized approach? <laughs> Seems a bit vigilant. Why are we ascending? Oh, because I selected so. Sorry. There you go. Perfect. Take a look at that. Very nice. So that is not the standardized approach. We were not actually supposed to go over that mountain. But hey, this is a great scenery flight. So I think the stream is a mix of me struggling to fly this airplane professionally and this Airbus not really struggling to fly professionally either. So there's like a good mix. Do you know? It's great. Uh, it's great flying. <sighs> so what else is here? What else is working or shit isn't working? Look, I mean, all those pages work, but they're just incredibly buggy. Like, this is the problem when I want to make another video. Um, when I want to make... Oh, the APA views are, by the way, turned on still. If I want to make a, another video about this airplane, I'm not really sure what to say because, you know, you do occasionally have bugs, but obviously you only very randomly or seldom, you know, live them, to have them. So they very seldom happen. So I'm just waiting for something to go wrong, honestly, at this point. So we are way too fast, by the way. We are... Oh, Norwich! How you doing? It's great. Norwich Airport spotting donated five pounds. Guess who's back? Back again. Yeah. How you doing, Norwich? So, so far, let's ha let's be real. Let's be very honest. Um, we haven't had any issues. Okay, yeah, the throttle problem, but that was very easily solvable. It just was very annoying, and there's probably like there's no reason for that to go wrong. But other than that, we're looking actually quite all right. I wonder if this thing is going to be able to fly our approach well. I wonder if it's going to be able to do that. Um, is it normal for the APU to be on but still delivering 82% of power? I mean, the APU flap is even open, so we're going to see a flap outside. Where's the APU flap? Isn't it supposed to be somewhere here? I really am unaware of this type of this aircraft. Is that the flaps? Is that the flap of the APU? That's Norwich Airport open? spotting donated Stupid. two pounds. You shall fly to Norwich Airport. Yeah, probably. All right, so it's given in a lot of power again. So the airplane is flying itself relatively well. Um, good. Good so far. Let's see if it's going to be able to handle these crazy 
legs right here. First of all, cost and then candy. It's a bit weird that there it's very tiny curves here, but okay. I, fu I find it funny how it doesn't even have an ETA here. Is that normal? Why doesn't it have an estimated time of arrival or an, an estimated flight time until we arrive at a waypoint? Is that normal? Or is that, is that, is that, is that something that, uh, I mean, I'm not flying this, I'm not flying this well, do you know? And I'm not doing very proper procedures at all. This is very messy. I don't calm. Carm donated five dollars. Not sure if this is known, but the German government apparently had put yeah. four hundred sixty thousand euro into this product. The BMW K site has information about it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, what's up, Norwich? If you don't fly Norwich, you will have to Norwich play. Norwich Airport spotting donated that. five people pounds. Be, people definitely if you don't fly to Norwich, me. you will have to play thick of it by KSI. I will not do that. I will not do that. So this is an interesting story about the whole funding of the German government. Um, so yeah, they put like half a million euro into this airplane of my money and of and of Norwich Airport's money, really, because um, well, he, you know, people that donated to this channel are also donating to the German government, by the way, <laughs> because I have to pay taxes, um, which are a lot here. Either way, um, uh, uh, the German government did put half a million euros into this airplane mainly because the. German government wants the German video game industry to, well, to, 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 uh, to grow. Because it's a big market. It's a really big market. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it hasn't really worked. I don't know how, but with, this is the only game that's gotten government funding. I'm not quite sure how much of that money has to be paid back. Because, of course, it's sort of also just a, uh, uh, um, well, it's 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 just lent money, really, obviously. But uh, I don't know. Uh, so let's see. This airplane has to turn left now, and it's doing so here right now to Candy. Although we are maybe a little bit high, uh, low. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. what's up, Marco? Marco, what does Sigma? Take a look at how poorly Marco, it's following Marco the flight plan. Marco, Marco donated two euros. Uh. Earn with the Sigma. What the Sigma, indeed. Long as approach, yeah, it is. The, the approach is longer than the whole flight. It's amazing. So, take a look at this airplane not really being able to follow my flight plan. It's probably going to dolphin around, as in, it's probably going to intercept the flight plan here and then do a weird curvature. What's up, Nori? You guys are crazy. Stop donating. Norwich Airport spotting donated five pounds. Sing along, Swiss. I'm in my prime. And this ain't even final form. They knocked me down. But still, my feet, they find the floor. You know, I'm very proud to say that this channel, you guys, would probably win all the AP brain rot exams. So look, so this is now trying to come and get get this flight plan right. We're, by the way, way too fast. I'm aware of my unprofessional flying, but I really don't care. I want to arrive today. Take a look at how poorly it's, it's able to follow the flight plan. It's like really like... So here we are up now to Candy. We should probably try to have this airplane fly direct to 19LR0 because it's probably going to overshoot Candy and then come in for for the somewhat route. Do you know? I will not do direct. I will just have the airplane get into the mess itself. Come on, turn left. Why doesn't it do that? I just remember flying the A320 sometimes and it would automatically in the A320, it would automatically, you know, do a curvature already in the route to make sure to hold flight plan. But look at what it's doing here. It's turning left after it, it came up on the candy. Marco Marco after donated overhead. two euros. So dumb. Are you skibidi? Yeah. Skibidi. Norwich Airport spotting donated two pounds. Hmm. When you I land, will, right. you must try and land Norwich, at Norwich. I have a deal. When, next stream, which is probably tomorrow, I will try an England route. And I will go to Norwich. But I have a bit of a route here set um, that I want to fly. Look at this. It's completely overshooting. Obviously, we're very fast. But that's something that the MCDU should normally be able to cope with. Look! That's embarrassing. The ATC is going to think that we're drunk. Do you know what I mean? We're completely overshooting. 
the plane turns like two seconds after approach to, to normal waypoint following is 10 seconds or so before right it's supposed to jump to the next waypoint much sooner in order not to completely probably maybe even intercept uh, air, uh, um, <laughs> I don't know restricted airspace something like that do you know what I mean ridiculous and now it's trying to somewhat come back to the route after completely overshooting our airport is somewhere over there all right we have to do that Norwich Airport spotting donated two pounds good man now you must go to it in real life all right perfect I will I will decide that tomorrow so a330 seems to have a direct Nate waypoint right okay oh I see a330 seems to have a direct waypoint navigation system rather than a calculated trajectory navigation system like the a320 has right that has a trajectory based uh, navigation system I'm really I don't really do Airbus very much I really have no idea um, about how their navigation systems work at all so I tell I will take your word for it but normally it should jump to the next fixed waypoint much sooner in order to actually catch it because we are probably not even gonna catch it at all let's maybe see if ATC has died no all right that's good that's a good start okay so one niner lima romeo zero we're completely overshooting it so what i'm doing is i'm gonna press direct to uh one three ttf ah so it's already recognized that sort of already done that by itself so it's kind of it's, it's weird okay you need to give that plane some sore change or fuel so it doesn't overcook its apu what what do you mean i mean the apu is dead that's good the door is closed by now that took like a f 20 minutes let me see what else of the pages work they should work look at that they work all right no worries all right perfect see now this is the landing gear page maybe put that up all as well perfect let's go back to arc turn on the ls Perfect. Uh, approach Airbus Air One request descent for landing. Cause we're going a little. Probably we're shooting it. Airbus zero zero one descend altitude three thousand feet. Expect visual approach runway three zero. Accelerate north. Descent 3,000 feet, expect OMG. visual approach, runway to Norwich Thank Airport you. spotting Everybody donated visual. 10 pounds. Jesus. I'm in the thick of it. Everybody knows they know me where it snows. I skied in and they froze. I don't know, know nothing about no ice. I'm just cold 40 something milli subs or so. I've been told. All right. Thank you very much for the absolute brain rot here. So there you go. We managed to catch the approach. For some reason, the approach mode doesn't work, um, which is weird. So it's knowledge. Why would you stop doing? Why would you do that? okay so there we go that has already not worked why did the approach not align this the problem is that i'm really unfamiliar with this aircraft type either way so i have no idea what i'm talking about um but this approach just didn't come in although we quite want to approach there's a runway down there let's stop the airplane make it slower because we're descending by quite a rate Bending gear down. Bending gear down as well. It's very it's getting very loud. We're over speeding. We're over speeding. What are we over speeding? We're over speeding the gear. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This airplane does not care. Alright, take a look. This airplane is quite effective on its spoilers, so that's already a good start. Approach Airbus 001, we already have the runway in sight. Uh, request frequency to change the tower. We're uh, already on approach, runway 30. Airbus 001, contact Tenerife North Tower for landing clearance. Yeah, well, what's the fucking frequency of, of the tower, Airbus 001? Alright, auto throttle. I, can't, I just can't get the approach mode to work. Honestly, just can't. Oh, I think it's working now. I think it's come back to working. 
I will probably have to land without landing clearance now. Okay, take a look at this. Should we do an auto land and see how that works? We're way too fast. Airbus 001, contact Tenerife, North Tower on 118.7. decimal seven. One eight decimal seven, bye bye. Uh, turn and turn to Reef Tower, Airbus 001. We are landing now, runway true zero. You take it. I don't care. Bye bye. One thousand. Okay. Turn on both autopilots. Alright, let's turn off auto bottle. Fuck, 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 fuck. Norwich Airport spotting donated two pounds. You shall add me on Roblox or else Swiss. Shut up, Norwich. I will do. It. I will not do that. Ooh. Okay. Um, what just happened? I I have no idea. I have no idea what just happened. Um, first of all. The intent, the ATC was not really there with us. Um, second of all, the auto throttle for some reason had disconnected. I don't, I don't know why. Um, and so, what happened was the airplane kind of tried to kill itself, and I managed to save this airplane from a near stall and didn't go around because we didn't care. Do you know? We will have some more. Uh, do we'll have some more? Right. Norwich Airport so. spotting donated two pounds. Petition to add me on Roblox starts Shout out, now. Norwich. Check. I will do not to participate in that stupid stuff. So everybody, there we go. Um, let's maybe see. Of course, I have a replay of this landing. It was really not good. Uh, I'm sorry. That was just a. That was actually pitiful, really. Let's make. Come on. Trying to get going. For some reason, my joystick is doing weird stuff. Let's clean up whatever we have here. Let's take a look at how this landing really looked like here in a replay mode. Come on. More power. Why do we need even full power? Are are the bri uh, are the landing is the landing gear flat? I don't know. All right. Let's just. Let's just put the parking brake on here and just have a look at this magnificent landing that we did here, everybody. Come on, last landing. That, oh, that wasn't good. Standard landing, 100 feet per minute. I kind of wanted to just sputter it because I wanted to see the landing gear mainly. So, once again, um, airplane stalled itself out here. Very, very slow speed, 109 knots. The airplane did not give in or engage any auto throttle and it sort almost died. Um, but again, that was it, weirdly enough we survived. Also, oddly enough, the landing gear is not tilted in the replay mode, which kind of ruins the whole purpose of this airplane. It's not tilted here. So once again, after trying to save this airplane, I was like, "All right, it doesn't matter. This airplane will stop in no time anyway because it's a Microsoft Flight Simulator." And so we did stop. I do not recommend you do this in real life. Gosh, the gear attraction is pitiful. Shame. Really is, isn't it? How are you doing? 
Thank you so, so much, Norwich. I know Norwich this Airport floater. spotting donated two pounds. Thank you so, so Last much. Last donation your of the night, Mr. A 330 floater. Thank you so, so much for your support. So let's maybe uh, attempt to do another landing uh, or another flight, really. I, this thing needs to stop with a rumble. Ah. Oh. So yeah, we do have very hot brakes, like very hot brakes, but it should work. Okay. Come on. Turn up your mic volume. Okay. Maybe I shall just turn down my the rest of the 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 stream. Yeah, I don't know. This is a bit if we do a video on the fly by wire A380, I will of course do that. But not right now. I will not do the stolen version. God, I need to somewhat get rid of this. What whatever that's going on here. The Moza, everybody. The Moza thing. It is doing a lot of interesting crazy stuff. Let's maybe uh, set up the basic settings. Um this airplane, I don't know why, but it's causing things to go a bit crazy. Inertia, feedback, intensivity. Okay. Conservative. It's not really helping. Maybe I should just stop streaming at this point. Or I should just close the software. There you go. Much better. <laughs> yes, everybody. My friends are professional flighting. That hasn't gone well, everybody. The Airbus A330 flight. We almost died completely. Ah, but now we have a very smoothly running setup again without any problems. Okay, so what's wrong here? Cabin forward. OFV. I have no idea what that is actually. It's funny. All right, time to now get our plane to the gate and not even turn our engines off because we want to engage into some more flighting. Is that a good idea? Or should I just give up at this point? Really? Maybe I should. Maybe I should give up. Alright, so let's maybe... Uh, Alright, I want to fly one more leg and see if this airplane wa works. Right, so we can fly to this place, Gran Canaria. It's got great runways. They all have ILS. And this time, I don't want anything to go wrong, Airbus A330. I want everything to go right. Where's my stupid pen? It's gone. Gone forever. Rest in peace, pen. I will probably not be able to write very well with that, with it, without it. Do you like the wind wing panel? The wind wing panel is perfect. Great. I flew the A320 recently with it. It was great. Just doesn't work with the Aerosoft, sadly enough. So uh, let's set that up here. And now that I don't have a pen, it's going to be a bit hard to remember my IFR, frequency, uh, my IFR clearance, but hey. Okay, take a look at this. We are now planning a flight from start to finish once again. And that means we want the GCXO uh, departure, depart, departing airport, and GC, what's it, LP, La Palma, I think. Something like that. Ah, oh, I don't want, no, I don't want you to be open all the way I just want you to get, get out of my my sight really stupid all right aircraft type we are an a330 300 perfect um, good and that's all we need we have we want some more arrivals can we please find Sid stars Mm. All right, that works for me. Lalt one Juliet, and then let's go ahead and generate that flight and load it here onto my iPad. Oh, okay, like that. Perfect, and hide, and now load in a new flight because I want to now try to fly this airplane without dying. Is that a good idea? All right, perfect. Take a look at that. That is a beautiful, a beautiful flight plan that we can now use. The engines will just remain running. It is, it's, it's a pitiful aircraft. That's what it is. But hey, 
we got to work with it okay it makes sense let's go ahead and start our initialization here so gc which is right now our airport gc where's c i hate why don't they just use qwerty keyboard here <laughs> So it's very airplane they all do that so there you go and then i want the gc lp gc lp so we're gonna fly to that place lpp yes take a look at that not allowed no other aircraft i could just i could just re-enter route I can't believe it. Good. I think I made it clear. Uh, how do I add a new flight plan? We're over with that. How, how do I add a new flight plan? Clear? So the A330, normally, I think, in the tollers, I could just add a new, new flight plan, or in the A320. Is that something that is not possible in the A330? <sighs> By the way, the, oh, the brakes are getting hotter and hotter. That's right, Oz. Why the hell are the brakes a thousand degrees hot? Look, and they're holding up strong. It's very hot brakes. A thousand degrees that would melt everything. A thousand? A thousand degree breaks! And the ignition is, all, is still on. That's hilarious. It was on the whole time. <laughs> okay, all right. Turn the brake fan on. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. And just to be funny. Where is the brake fan? Isn't it supposed to be here? It's very realistic. Bray, uh, landing, uh, flighting. She's... What is that state now? And they're getting just hotter and hotter. For no reason, by the way. What's up, rate? The, this, this airplane is at million degrees breaks. We're in massive problem. Yeah, okay, the A330 does not have one. I'm really un unfamiliar with this aircraft type, so please don't... Don't be mad at me. I can't. For, and for no reason at all, I just cannot set up a new route. There you go. Maybe I can just... Did I just restart it? No. How do I set up a new route? Oh, they get hotter. Brakes are getting hotter! Woo! Okay, we are in massive problems. It's getting... It's just getting hotter now. A million degree breaks? Question mark. Just yeah, just take off and leave your gear. Uh, all right, this one does not have a, a, a brake fan, but apparently some Airbus A330s, their older had one, which is interesting. This plane doesn't have any 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 stuff. Um, okay, so how can you need to be cold and dark again? Is that I I, I, I just out of curiosity. Is that something that's normal um, for the Airbus A330? Because in, in, in all other Airbuses that I remember, you could just set up a new flight plan whenever you liked it, which is something I guess makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Oh, load state. So, okay, I can just probably... All right, so cold and dark. All right, never mind. Let's do that. Cold and dark. Come on. Cold and dark. Like women's hearts. Why did that take two clicks? All right. All right, there you go. Everybody after a bit of trouble, aircraft is loading again. You have the sec flight plan option. No, I don't think this airport airplane supports two flight plans, which is weird. Cause I, I don't think that it can't be that hard to implement uh, as a system. Okay, the aircraft systems have finished loading up. This message will disappear once the aircraft is ready. 
That took quite a while to load up. Oh, take a look. Actually, this is, I'm quite curious. This is now in a cold and dark state. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Yes, look, the airplane even has to align. That is interesting. Let's turn on the APU right away. Hey, would you see that? Look at that. Why are the engines on? The engines are spin. All right, there's some spinach in the engines. And the engines are turning on. Hey, take a look at that. Engines are nicely turning on. Maybe that's because... Uh... Yeah, quite weird that you got a stall warning on approach. Isn't the fly-by-wire supposed to prevent that from happening in the first place? Yeah. So in the X-Plane A330, this would have never happened. The plane would have never allowed itself to go at, to 109 knots. Um, so that is weird. Um, okay. Self-testing. For some reason... Okay, that... Why is the primary flight display working? All right, that actually might be normal. Okay, there we go. We can set up a flight plan. Look at that. We've achieved something. So we want to go from GCXO. Yeah, it's annoying. I mean, we can't just do point to point flying here. GCXO slash to GCLP LP. I like how you guys are very nicely nice to work with because you guys can give me uh, 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 well tips really on how to fly this plane. Flight number one, and then passenger five hundred. Can we enter that in? Will that let us do that? No! God damn it! Two hundred, two five million, two passengers two. That's great. And cost index. One hundred. Yes, take a look at that. Cruise flighting. I don't know, but well, we will take care of that later. Let's check out the flight plan right here so that I can enter in our departure. How do I do that? Hold on, GC GCXO, there we go. Departure and we're probably gonna use runway tree zero and we're gonna have the what? The LAT, LAT one Juliet? Let one Juliet, which is probably going to be our whole flight plan. Doesn't have it. <sighs> Lout one Juliet, not Lut. But, oh, it doesn't say Lut. All right, there it is. Okay, I got it. Okay, perfect. Temporary insert. Not insert that. That is great. Um, I know why there's a flight dead plan. Discontinuity. 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 There's no reason for that for that to happen. How do we fix the flight plan discount? All right, brakes hot, which doesn't make sense. We just completely reset this airplane, by the way. Okay, maybe you got an outdated nav database. No, I don't. I, this is a brand new bit database here. Okay, all right, all's well. Let's maybe get rid of this here um, and see how long this airplane takes to align. Which I've got no information about. Is that normal on the A330? I'm just madly... <sighs> okay, so my friends are flying. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe talk to Tower. So Tower is 118.7. Which I can't enter in very well. Because it's broken. My comms do not work. My comms doesn't work. <laughs> uh, 
Comms are off. It's a little switch. All right. That's embarrassing. That's honestly very embarrassing. Thank you very much for letting me know. If I didn't have you, man, I would just not survive this. So North Tenerife Tower, good day. Uh, oh, never mind. Hold on. I don't think it sure has some sort of a ground frequency clearance. It even has clearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Sorry, it has clearance. Super, super Airbus sorry. Airbus 001, Tenerife North Tower. Welcome to Tenerife North. Contact ground on one to two one decimal seven. Uh, Tenerife Clearance, good day. This is Airbus 001, an 8330 here on the ramp. Um, fuck, request IFR clearance to Gulf Charlie Lima Papa. I have no idea what the airport is called. All right, so there is... That's actually kind of cool. That's actually the only calm that Airbus I've seen that is turn off. It looks like you've already got an open flight plan. Press the new flight button. Shut up, close bitch. Tenerife clearance, good day. This is Airbus 001, 8330 here on the stupid ramp. I request IFR clearance to Golf Charlie Lima Papa. I think. I think it was that. I don't remember what, what the aircraft designation there was. <clears throat> on the stupid ramp, it says here. But request I if our clearance to GCLP, I think. <laughs> Oh man, they must think I'm such an idiot. All right, perfect. Airbus 001, information X-ray is current. Cleared to Gran Canaria via the LALT one Juliet departure, <laughs> then asylum. Departure runway three zero. Initial climb five to thousand. Departure on one two four decimal eight squawk do. All right, perfect. Bye bye. Okay, information X-ray and clear to Grand Canaria via the Laut One Juliet departure. Uh, and then as file departure on way three zero initial climb five thousand departure on one two four decimal eight squawk two four six five. Airbus zero one. Say so, yeah, I, I I just had to read it off here because I don't have a pen anymore and so I cannot really write things down anymore. So let's set that up. Airbus zero zero one read back correct. Contact ground on one two one decimal seven. One, two, one, decimal seven. Bye-bye. Thank you, Airbus 001. Okay, so... Um... I don't really care about setting anything up at this point. I just... I'm just... I'm just pissed off. Greg and I are count ground today. This is Airbus 001. Let's turn the airplane on. And just start. Come on. Do that. And then the right engine should turn on in a jiff. No worries. Airbus 001, information X-ray is current. Cleared to Gran Canaria via the, the LALT one Juliet departure, then as filed. Departure runway three zero. Oh. Initial climb five to. Sorry, Tenerife ground. Good day. This is Airbus 001. Taxi to runway 30, via Romeo, Echo 5, contact tower on 118.7 when ready for departure. Um, stand by, uh, ground, uh, hold on just one second. I didn't even request taxi, by the way, just wanted to mention that, uh, ground. A uh, aviation 787, um, yeah, th th I will definitely do that. I will definitely Airbus do that. Zero zero one. Understood. No problem. Let me know when you're ready for taxi instructions. Uh, in fact, I'm ready now. Airbus zero zero one. Uh, flight taxi ready to taxi runway three zero. To advance. Am I late to the party? You're not late to the party. We're gonna now do another flight. All right. We just did a flight, and now we're gonna do one again. One. Airbus Maybe zero zero one. Taxi to runway three zero. Via Romeo. Echo five. Contact tower on 118.7 when ready for departure. Airbus 001 taxi runway uh, 30 via Romeo and Echo 5 and contact tower 118.7. Thank you so much. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead now. Engines are up already, unfortunately. 
All right, brakes hot still. We do not give a f single damn. Honestly, I do not care to care. Okay. Initial climb 5,000 and the rest should be history. Take a look at this, our beautiful departure, which should work without any problems. Maybe, maybe it will. <laughs> it's a very weird departure here, runway tree zero. Well, it'll do for us. All right, beautiful, engines are ready to roll. Engines are ready to rock like that. Come on, so let's do that. Please rock, okay? Yes, take a look at the magnificent power of the A3, A330, which for some reason doesn't do any reverse thrust now. Now it does. Why does it have to, why do I have to do that? Does the DCDU or and the CPDLC work? I have no idea what you're talking about, mate. <laughs> All right, come on, reverse thrust. Okay. No movement there. Maybe the chocks are still set? Although I never set them, so it'd be weird if they were set. Finally, some turning action. So, ah, uh, come on. So I think we were supposed to use Romeo, and which is right here, and then Echo Five. So, the Echo Five holding point. Perfect. Let's do that. All is well, everybody. Yes. Take a look at this. Beautiful f flying happening here. Ah, <sighs> this is just, uh, yeah, reverse is a $10 DLC. I don't know why. I think in a real A330, the reverse rush should be enough to actually go reverse. You know, it doesn't really work. So, everybody, I mean, what is great, really, is the, how the cockpit looks. You know, it really isn't done bad. Do you know, I don't want to hate too much. Take a look at this now. All is well. We are now coming in soon. For the beautiful um, runway tree zero here. Okay. Is that is that Echo? That's Echo Four, and so we're using the last one. Okay, that's great. Perfect. Brakes are still hot. We should actually not fly. I don't know why, but the brakes are still. Oh, but the brakes are at 800, 800 degrees. Okay, there we go. Is that now the right? It's Romeo. Zero zero one contact tower on one one eight decimal seven. One one eight decimal seven. Airbus zero one. Bye bye. I don't know why it says Romeo Echo five here. Uh, it should. It's not, that's definitely a Romeo taxiway, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's also the only entry to the runway. Airbus 001, Roger. Contact tower on 118.7. Tenerife target day, this is Airbus 001, holding point, runway tree zero, ready for departure. Um, also, by the way, we have, um, we have definitely crossed the line here. We're, uh, definitely Airbus already in the runway. What the fuck? Airbus 001, we are at holding point, uh, Romeo runway 30, ready for departure. The brakes are at 900 degrees, although we just spawned in technically. It's not got no fuel, this airplane, so we might have to declare a fuel emergency, but hey, that's probably Airbus the best thing. Airbus 001, runway 30, winds 310 at Niner, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 30, thank you, Airbus 001. Okay, take a look at this. Um, we are looking kind of. Not good, but hey, this is all fine. Um, let's just, I've just lost patience with this airplane. On my tree zero.
Look at that. Beautiful. Just take off, do a rolling takeoff. The engines haven't already spooled up. Yeah, this is not a very professional flight, but hey, who gives a shit? Flaps are not in takeoff position, although I set them. Flaps are, uh, flaps one. Doesn't, isn't really recognized by this airplane. Also, we should be in toga. This airplane, is that in toga? Is that toga position? Not sure. I actually do not care. I do not care if we die. Landing gear animations suck too. I wish they didn't, but they do. They do, they do, they do. That is a shame. Let's maybe see if the autopilot does its job. That's gonna get interesting. I don't know why, but the vertical speed mode was already on already. <laughs> like automatically. Like that's gonna run itself into trouble here. That is for sure. Look at that. It's gonna run itself into trouble. I don't know. Zero, zero, one, contact departure on one, two, four, decimal eight. One, two, four, decimal eight. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Airbus zero, zero one. Uh, Tenerife departure. Good day. This is Airbus zero, zero, one, eight, three, thirty here from uh, Tenerife to another airport IFR uh, at three thousand six hundred feet, climbing to five thousand feet. You know what I mean. You know you can identify me. <laughs> <laughs> New Tenerife disaster classic. All right, let's maybe see if the Airbus speed. Airbus 001, Tenerife North approach identified. Yeah. Clear direct. Lalto, climb flight level 140. Clear direct. Lalto, climb level 140. Airbus 001. Thank you. Okay. Clear direct. Lalto. Let's see how well that works. Direct to Lalto. Where the hell is Lauto on our route? <laughs> Good direct Lauto. So, but uh, hold on, I really do w would wish for this thing to mess Airbus itself 001, up. Airbus 001, contact Gran Canaria approach on 121.3. One, one, decimal 3 thank you very much. Airbus 001. Uh... Greg Canary approach. Good day. This is Airbus 001 at 5,000 feet, climbing to 14,000 feet, or flight level 140 uh, IFR from Tenerife to Gran Canaria. It should be able to to recognize us. So it's doing something insanely weird. The autopilot is absolutely incapable of Airbus following the flight plan. Gran Canaria approach identified. Good afternoon, Tenerife QNH 1013. Tenerife one zero one three Airbus zero one. I don't know why we're supposed to read back, back there. So the plane just overshoots our uh, great our flight plan. Now I don't even know what it's gonna do now. It's completely overshot itself. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. All right, let's go direct Lalto. That is a bit of a shame there. Let's directly insert Lalto. And so the plane should turn around now. Yeah, all right, it does that. It's it's crazy. It is crazy, everybody. This is great. <laughs> we have a Christmas ah song in the background. All right, the auto throttle is off again. Come on, do what you're told to be doing. Come on, do what you're told to be doing. Alright, hand, hand, hand flying. By the way, the brakes are hot. That's quite ridiculous. I mean, what the landing, what is the, what is the landing gear? Still at 700 degrees. The airplane would be completely on fire if we, if we had retracted it in real life, by the way. <laughs> That's immensely funny. So, Grand Canary Approach, Airbus 001, can we please have some information on our arrival? So, our arrival route and uh, arrival runway. Okay, trust has to be on climb position. All the throttle goes back on. I think they are on climb. Airbus That's 001, climb. expect the LORP 2 Charlie arrival and runway 3 left for landing at Gran Canaria. Runway 3 left. There's like multiple runways of those. Let me just select X and just see if that works.
Mm, what star did it just give us? Lorp to Charlie. Expect Lord to Charlie and runway to left for landing at Grand Canary. Thank you very much, Urban Surgeon. This is crazy. Okay, let's go back and select another uh, runway here. I'm so unfamiliar with this airplane, by the way. It's absolutely insane. Oh, that's wrong. No. No, 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 no. Zero, zero, one. Contact Canaries Control on 123 decimal 65. 123 decimal 65. Uh, can reach control. Good day. This is Airbus 001 uh, at... What, what is our altitude? Level 110 IFR 2 Grand Canary. What the fuck is this airplane doing? Zero, zero, one. Contact Canaries Control on 123 decimal 65. Airbus 001 at 110 IFR 2 Grand Canary. Airbus 001. Canaries Control identified. Good afternoon. Alright, there you go. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. All right, so let's maybe try another ILS approach and see if it's able to find the star that we're looking for. No, no, not Yelb. Uh, maybe the Zulu. That's so weird. I can't find my... Lorp to Charlie. That is not Lorp to Charlie. Also, we want to go faster at this point. Come on, go faster. Lorp to Charlie, I'm looking for. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna we're off to a great start again. Noob flying and a new pilot versus noob airplane at this point. Lorp to Charlie. Where can I find that? No star. I would... No. Oh my god. Alright, destination. Arrival. Please select another one. I don't wish to die. Maybe localizer. Tr zero tree left. I just want to see if we can find the approach. Airbus 001, Canaries Control. Expect the Lorp 2 Charlie arrival for the visual runway 3 left into Gran Canaria via Eneta. Expect descent in 10 minutes. Advise if you want to descend sooner. Uh, expect uh, Lorp 2 Charlie into runway 3 left visual approach and expect descent in 10 minutes. Airbus 001. Where is the Lorp departure uh, arrival? It doesn't have any of the arrivals that I would like. Also, hold on. We want, well, hold on. Arrival. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just a mess now. So hold on. Let's maybe check. So let's maybe do the, the raw dog edition. So this is one, zero tree left. Okay. That's the one we want. Zero tree left. And there is no LORP. Um, can I just control Airbus 001? Can we please have another approach into runway 03 left? Another er star arrival, please. Because our airplane, for some reason, it's the Airbus A330 from Aerosoft. You have to understand. Um, I can't, it doesn't, it doesn't have it in the flight plan. It's the Yelp 2 Bravo. It's the same thing. It's a Yelp 2 Bravo. Why? Airbus 001 approved. You can use the ESIQ 1 Charlie arrival for runway 03 left. Let me know if you need further assistance. He's, ah, oh, it's got it. It's got it. I have it. Yes, everybody, I have got it. Yes. Yes, take a look at my genius being able to haggle with the, for some reason, very Italian control. Oh, that looks like a mess of a flight plan. Fuck. <laughs> oh, yes. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. 
just take a look at that. Okay, Kennedy's control, Airbus 001. Uh, can we please sh uh, then change the flight plan? Can we please fly to the waypoint Sarawo to get our approach? Airbus 001. Airbus 001 approved. Proceed direct to Waypoint Sorrow for your approach. So Airbus 001 request immediate descent now. Yes, everybody, I'm haggling around here. I'm doing this professionally. So Sarvo, Sarajevo. Airbus 001. Cleared for the Lord 2 Charlie arrival. No! For the visual runway 3 left into Gran Canaria via Eneta. You're no, you're a fucking idiot. Stop. No, 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 no. We are using the SC1 Charlie arrival into runway 03 left. Okay, listen to me. SC1 um, Charlie arrival for runway 03 left. And we are now proceeding direct to the waypoint Sierra Alpha Romeo Whiskey Oscar. Airbus 001. Great. We have under two weeks and three days until FSF, MFSF, F. All right. Airbus 001, Roger. Proceed direct to Sorrow and continue with the ESIQ-1 Charlie arrival for runway 03 left. Okay. Proceed direct to Sarvo and continue with the Essex-1 Charlie arrival for runway 03 left and request immediate descent. Because we kind of have to do that very soon. All right, never mind. We don't have to descend. Oh, never mind. That's actually not that smart. Doesn't matter. So, everybody, the airplane is airplane flying zero itself. Zero one. Proceed direct to Sorrow and continue with the ESIQ-1. Charlie arrival for runway 03 left. Descend altitude 5,000 feet. 5,000 feet. Uh, request 7,000 feet, Airbus 001. I have an Italian controller, yes. Airbus 001, climb altitude 7,000 feet. Cl uh, climb 7,000 feet, Airbus 001. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think with this airplane, I, I, th I think it's making the controller a bit freaky. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's not able to concentrate very well for some reason. Doesn't work. Doesn't work too well. Let's go ahead and maybe try to use every single inch of speed that we can use with this airplane because we want to arrive soon. It, is, it seems to take forever. 42 nautical miles. We have so much time on our hand, everybody. Take a look at this. Um, but yes, so far, throttle level is not in climb position, but it is in climb. Why is that so weird? And we've got very low fuel. 3%. It'll be enough. It'll be enough. We can maybe try to... Maybe we can try to... Uh, request for direct to Tomos. Um, Pan Pan, Pan Pan, Tenerife... Uh, no, Grand Canary's control. Um, we are very low on fuel, so we'd like to cut short our approach. Um, we would like to go direct to... Tomas, Waypoint Tomas. We're very low on fuel. This is definitely not go around worthy. Airbus 001 approved. Proceed direct to Tomas Waypoint. Proceed direct Tomas, Airbus 001. Thank you very much. Okay, let's proceed direct to Tomas. Very nicely. Tell you like that. So we're cutting short our approach very much. We're going very fast. I'm confused. Swiss has flown planes in real life, but why is the phraseology so often all the, all the time? So I, 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 I'm not IFR rated. One to one decimal three. One to one decimal three. Airbus 001. Thank you. 
Um, so I don't fly IFR, and this is also a stream, so I really don't care to do things any, in any way like I would in real life. I'm actually quite boring in real life. I'm actually almost boring in the stream, other than me just screaming all the time. But yeah, I have no idea about IFR procedures or anything. So yeah, let's see. Uh, Grand Canary approach, good day, this is Airbus 001. Uh, at one, one, flight over 110 on the... What approach are we on? Mm. We're now on the Essex One Charlie arrival runway tr zero tree left. What am I even doing? This is the worst announcement ever. E everybody, this is great. It's a great. Airbus zero zero one, Grand Canaria approach identified. Good afternoon. And I mean, this is not. I mean, this is AI, so I have to speak a little bit differently. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get used to using this voice. Um, you know, trying to trying to use this voice model here. Do you know, if you press the altitude selector knob, you could use the mode equal to flight level change in a Boeing. Oh, but we don't all wish this. We're now going fast as possible here, and we're descending very nicely as well. We need to be at seven thousand feet for some reason. We don't have any information on when we reach our altitude, but that doesn't matter. You know, uh, let's see. I would very much like to use the ILS from way zero tree left. Let's see if it has the Essex one Charlie arrival. Also, let's insert that and then direct Thomas as before. Direct Thomas like that. Shoot, I've broken the whole flight plan. Uh, mm, like that. Oh, I've broken the whole flight plan even more now. <laughs> okay, everything is broken. Everything is lost. We are die dead. Let me try the Lima Yankee. Uh, like that. Temporary insert. It's probably gonna mess up everything again. And then just go direct. Tomas. Maybe see what that does. We wanted to go direct Tomas, please. We wanted to go direct Tomas. You idiot. How do I fix a flight plan discontinuity? I, um, uh, okay. SC, Xavo, and then Tomas. That's what we want. We don't really have the, uh... Okay, that doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Come on, Tomas. Direct Tomas, please. It just won't... It just refuses. Let's just get rid of those waypoints manually. No. Oh. What in the fuck? S seek. I want to get rid of that. Temporary insert. Just do that. What is that doing there? Why is that TP? <laughs> uh, I'm fighting against the plane if you haven't noticed. I'm fighting against the Airbus A330, and I'm not winning. Uh, get rid of Sarvo. I'm fighting. I just want to go direct to... What is waypoint TP? What in the world have I added in? I am the worst airplane. I can't do direct. I don't want to do Sarvos. I'm cooked. A 
It's not star, it's star vote. All right. Look at that. Clear. Clear Sarvo. Direct to in progress. No. Uh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We don't have a lot of fuel. The autopilot is doing whatever it wants to do. I mean, we could have the airplane just fly itself down there. Temporary insert. Okay, there you go. That's better. That's what I wanted to do the whole time. I'm just incapable of using the Airbus system, but it's interesting what it's, what, to see what it's doing now. So it's turning left again. Okay, we are 2% few, and we have an island there, and we're going to land there. Use, just use heading mode. I wanted to really use the MCDU. What does the fuel panel say? Uh, let's see what the fuel panel says. By the way, our landing gear has cooled down very much. That's actually pretty good news. Let's maybe see... Um, we want, first of all, fuel, um, it's not a lot, it's not a lot, but hey, we should be able to do this. We still have 4,000 kilograms on board. No, that's the fuel used. <laughs> mm. yeah, that's the fuel used. We're in trouble. So fuel left and right wing take a, uh, too low. What does TK mean? I have no idea what this airplane wants to tell me. Maybe turn off the APU? Oh, that's a start. Maybe that's what's been eating fuel for all along. It's, um, worst flight ever, buddy. This is, this is great. $20 bet and just ignores the empty fuel tanks. And, nah, probably it's not that bad. Come on, this airplane now doesn't make the worst impression. Let's be real. I don't know what the, what, what the TP is all about. It just, just be using Thomas now. I don't know what it's doing that for. I have no idea what airport, uh, what, what Airbus is doing there. I don't know what the what the whole TP thing is about. I just want you to go direct to t uh, Thomas. Or can I just enter in Thomas here and it will not mess up anything? Because it's probably. I just want to make sure that this that I haven't messed up anything. So direct Thomas. All right, it's done that. That's good. That's very good. That's very, very good. That's actually good news. Perfect. Direct Thomas, and it's doing that perfectly. Uh, now, let's maybe try to not overshoot this approach, as in we want to perhaps lose a little bit of speed. So TP means turning point. It's a calculated point that you can't delete because it doesn't actually exist. Yeah. So is it like some sort of the um, some sort of what the A320 does, the trajectory thing? All right. What is it doing now? Airbus. 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 Don't turn left. Right. Turn left. Okay, all is well. All is well, everybody. Um, I had a look at the procedure. You have to be at 25,000 feet by... 2,500 feet by Falpu. Where's Falpu? That's quite a far away, though. I mean, Tomas, yeah, it's 2,500 feet. We're looking actually quite good on that. So maybe... Um, See, we're going to be overhead. Thomas, really soon. Our main goal is actually just losing speed because we're supposed to be at 220 knots here, according to what j had just been said here uh, on, on the FMC. Everybody, this is going to be a great landing into Grand Canaria with a little bit of a challenging aspect. We have 1% of fuel left. Let's maybe see if uh, we're going to make it. I really do not wish that the autopilot messes up, you know. Says we are losing speed nicely. We're doing that. I hope we're not gonna die. Try on crossweed. Your left engine is about to flame out. Oh we, oh yeah. Hold on. We only have 100 kilograms in our left end in our left fuel tank. Um. So let's turn on the cross feed indeed. Oh, the uh, fuel pumps have been off the whole flight. All right. Time for X feed here. That's very important and. It has no effect. Cross, come on, cross is open, right? That's the one we are supposed to use, right? Okay, we have some issues. 
Okay, we need to descend now. So, Airbus 001, we're overhead Tomos now. Request descend uh, for landing. Are they still there? Airbus 001, descend altitude 3,000 feet. Expect visual approach runway 3 left. Uh, descend 3,000 feet. Expect visual runway 0, 3 left. Uh, Airbus 001. Okay, let's do that. Airbus 001, descend altitude 3,000 feet. Expect visual approach runway 3 left. Okay. Send 3,000 feet, expect uh, runway 03 left visual approach, Airbus 001. Okay, perfect. Take a look at this. We're supposed to be at 2,500 feet uh, when we reach Falpu right here, which is going to be quite a journey. Airbus 001, descend altitude 3,000 feet. Expect visual approach, runway 03 left. Runway 03 left, visual approach, and descend and maintain 3,000 feet, or we'll descend 3,000 feet, Airbus 001. Okay, that's good. Um, we are nicely losing altitude here, and we can we are already kind of aligned here on approach. That's perfect. This makes it makes us go on a perfect descent here. Look at that. Look at that perfection. Yes, take a look at those diamonds already being where they are supposed to be. Take a look at this. Diamonds are there. Like diamonds in the sky. And this is good. We can already see the runway here. It is definitely inside. Um, uh, we don't have any traffic around us. Did the crossfeed work? By the way, the crossfeed does not work whatsoever. This is the crossfeed, right? And it doesn't work. That's something I, I can tell. It doesn't work. So we have 30 kilograms left in our left engine. So we're in trouble. As it seems. We're in lots of trouble. I want you guys to know that. We're in a lot of trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. 20, 20 kilograms left. Crossfit doesn't work. Everybody, we have issues. That has made me do a situation report. Our left wing is running out of fuel, which obviously drives the left engine. Um, and the cross feet, which would send fuel from the right wing to the left wing to support it, doesn't work. So as you can see, it's down to 20 kilograms. We're gonna die. It's, it's plain, plainly enough. Why doesn't this airplane descend more? This airplane is to stop descending at some point, which is weird. I never told it to not descend. And now we're probably, we're way too high. And we're, we can, why doesn't this airplane descend? It just won't descend. It just stopped descending at one point. Why did it do that? We're supposed to be at 2,500 feet. We're at 5,000 feet now. And it stopped descending again. All right. Autopilot disconnected. Trying to hand fly the airplane down. What a massive idiot. Can't believe it, man. It's just full of disappointment. All right, left engine has died. You need to turn on left fuel pumps. Those are all on. So... We, uh, we are in problem. We need to turn off the left fuel pumps. Okay. No, it doesn't do anything. All right. So, uh, our traffic controller to um, inform you about our situation. We are in a little bit of trouble. Our left engine has already failed because of our fuel problem. We have 500 kilograms of fuel in the right engine. We need to land now on my zero tree left. We're already established here. We uh, need to uh, switch frequency to the tower. Please give us the frequency of the tower to land at my zero tree left. Please, Airbus 001. Zero I don't know for sure, but it might just be drawing from both tanks at the same time. No. So left engine has died. But it's kind of back. Airbus 001, contact Grand Canaria Tower for landing clearance on runway 03 left. Frequency is 118.7. 118.7, bye-bye. Grand Canaria Tower, good day. This is Airbus 001, uh, established... Um, visual approach runway zero tree left in a melee situation. We don't have any fuel on board. We need to land runway zero tree left. Airbus zero one. Okay, for some reason it's just lost. 
Um, Airbus 001, Tenerife North Tower. Wind Street 10 at Niner. Runway 03 left, clear to land. Emergency services are on standby. 03 left runway, 03 left Airbus. Here's one clear to land. That was a weird. Big one. My very little gay like gear retraction. Very quick speed loss. We still have 480 kilograms of fuel left here. So is this weird? Is this normal that the crossfeed was inoperative? Is this normal? Oh, oh my god. Whoa. Is this normal that the uh, crossfeed was inoperative? Oh god, we need more power. Our engine's dead. We had 470 kilograms of fuel left. We have 470 kilograms of fuel left. Um, engines just suddenly shut down. And in this terrain, with an A330 at this speed, at this altitude to lose, lose both engines at 130 knots, we um, just couldn't do it. That was unsurvivable. Fuel cross feed. It says it here, but it's not. It's it doesn't cross feed. Also, 470 kilograms of fuel left, but engine died. Is that something that could have been saved? You had auto throttle on. That's why you couldn't control the engine. No, the engine is not running anymore. The auto throttle isn't the problem. Look, there, look, it's. It, I guess it works. But the engines are dead. I. I guess? Wait. No, engines are dead. Did the right engine also die? Yeah. I don't know what it's doing. It's still got some spinach here. 10%? There's still a little bit working. It's weird noise is coming from the airplane. <sighs> All right, we died. So, I mean, ignition won't start the engine. We can't relight it. It's completely dead. So, everybody, there you go. I think that was a stream that didn't go very well once again. Um, I'm sad. I'm awfully sad today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I mean, okay, let's be real. To give a little bit of a... I mean, I'm probably going to post a video about this airplane tomorrow. But um, to give a little bit of an insight, it's not terrible at all i mean it's really not terrible it's all right it works it runs it um look it 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 it, it, it works better than the update before well better than the than the first release but as you can see it just has so many issues so many details that are like right i mean okay this is a 30 dollar add-on but i mean this is aerosoft you received half a million dollars from from the German government to make this airplane and stuff like the cross feet doesn't work Is that like is that so hard to uh, to develop the cross feet? Right um, So cross feet doesn't work Uh what else didn't really work? Oh, the, 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 the autopilot was weird. The airplane spawns in weirdly um, with some of the instruments running and some not for some reason. Um, 
so that's it's 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 great yeah it's a very unreliable airplane i should i should have probably tried the latin vfr a330 because that's a plane that maybe isn't the most fu futuristic but it is more reliable in what it can do do you know what i mean so what this was kind of an edge case what if you load it with more fuel and still an imbalance would it work perhaps that's something i'm going to try tomorrow but these are like details that mm, i i don't know if the regular microsoft flight simulator user knows what a crossfeed is at all to transfer fuel around by the way engine is starting up or so, well, at least we hear it why can we hear startup sound Okay. So, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, the stream, and I'll see you guys in the next one as always. Good night. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I'll go to bed now. This was quite a long stream. How long did, did I stream? There you go. Two hours. That was quite long, but it was it was very fun to mock this airplane. Thank you guys so, so much for, being, for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next one as always. Good night. Bye.